Happy Tuesday, guys. Hope you enjoyed your long weekend there. Uh, we're back to it with two small little workouts in this one. Um, so we got a benchmark workout called Hansel and the second one called Ingrid. Very, very similar. Just two, um, or just one movement that's different. We're gonna do clean and jerks in the first one and snatches in the second one. So how this goes, 10 rounds for time. You got a 10 minute time cap, three clean and jerks. Um, you can do this power or you can do a squat clean. I would recommend you guys choose a weight where you guys can do a power clean and then a jerk overhead. This weight should be somewhere around 30, 40% of your one rep max. So 135 is really close to your one rep max. Try to dial it down to something that's um, light enough that you could possibly go touch and go with this one. Then three bar over burpees. So uh, typically we do bar over burpees facing the bar. So if you guys face the bar, do your burpee and then jump over the bar. Uh, we'll do that for the workout today. If uh, space is a little bit tight, go lateral. Lateral will also be okay for this workout as well. Then we're gonna rest for eight minutes. So that means I want you guys to go hard on that 10 minute workout there, on the 10 rounds. So resting for eight minutes. Before we do that, kind of the same way again, but with snatches, 10 rounds for time, uh, 10 minute cap, three snatches, three bar over burpees. So with the intent of both workouts today, we're working on some barbell cycling. However, I want you to choose that weight where you're not having to really think about um, your technique as much. So that doesn't mean throw technique out the window. It just means that choose a weight in a progression where you feel comfortable moving fast with and with good form. So I don't want you to be thinking about every single rep trying to hit the positions. Those should be more natural to you. And to have those, have that happen naturally, you gotta have to pick a progression for you that you don't have to think about it as much as you're going through the workout. I want you to be able to get that heart rate nice and high and hold it for as long as possible for the 10 rounds. So 80 to 90% effort is what you wanna be aiming for for each workout. Um, because you get a pretty close one-to-one -one rest, eight minutes, so I'd say um, about 20% less, but eight minutes is a long time. So make sure you work hard in that first one so you deserve that eight minute rest. And when you come back, you hit it hard again. So we're doing some interval work here and we're working at a high intensity, but we're not trying to work for a long duration. We're trying to do it in short bouts. The 10 rounds should realistically take you about seven to eight minutes to finish on average. It shouldn't, uh, you should try to see if you can finish a round every 45 seconds approximately. Um, it's only three and three, and it shouldn't take you longer than that to finish those three. Um, as long as you're keeping a consistent pace and you chose um, a weight and a progression that's best suited for you, you'll be fine in this workout. Again, if you feel legs burning, the lungs burning, you're doing it right. Um, and that's what we wanna get after in today's workout. And again, when you get to the snatches here, guys, um, still think about that consistent uh, pace. And again, choose the pattern or that progression for you that you can keep those snatches unbroken throughout. Uh, bar over burpees, these should be quickly done. So you're doing that burpee facing the bar, jump over, quick twist and turn, and go back into it. Every time you're gonna end up on the opposite side of the bar, so just be prepared for that. Um, don't walk over the bar and always try to face the same way when you're doing your uh, clean and jerks or your snatches, just pick up the bar from whatever side you're on. Uh, don't waste time in this one. You wanna keep that intensity nice and high. Once you're done this workout, we're gonna cool down with a 90-90 um, hip flow. So you're gonna watch that video. This is from Z Health. Uh, cool little way to kind of mobilize the hip, hips and also to just kind of down regulate and relax the body. Hope you guys enjoy today's workout. We'll see you tomorrow for the next one.